It has been just over nine months since I stopped drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. So, how do I feel? What have I achieved? And going forward, what does it mean to me after the first nine months? So it was the second week of January this year when I decided that drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes wasn't for me anymore. Nope, I just had enough. So I decided to quit both at the same time. Well, almost three days apart. Many people said, you're nuts. You are never gonna do that. Nine months down the line, I'm still doing it. Don't wanna go into details as to why I'm doing this because I've covered that in two previous videos. If you wanna see them, pop on a channel subscribe to the channel and have a look at my three month update which was in uh, April and I've done another six month update in June. Even though this is just a progress update video, I felt it was rather important to know the reasons as to why I've decided to do this. So stick around to the end of the video and I do explain why. So here we are, this is my nine month update and how's it been, especially after summer season and beer gardens, which I used to love. So yeah but I'm still going strong. I'm doing some washing at the same time because I like to multitask. So nine months in and how do I feel health wise? Honestly, much better. And I mean much better. Why wouldn't you? Alcohol's not good for you and nor's tobacco. So quitting them two has just made me feel way better. I mean, I do, if you follow my channel regularly, you'll know that I still vape. I don't smoke tobacco, but I vape, which is still not a good thing. And for the first, what, two or three months of vaping, I really struggled, more than I did when I was smoking for uh, shortness of breath. I was out of breath really, really quickly, really easily. Now it's kind of like not happening anymore, but I still need to cut down on the vaping because it's just generally not good for you. But going back to drinking alcohol, now I used to use drinking alcohol, well beer, because that's pretty much all I ever drunk was beer. Uh, I used to use that as an excuse to sleep better at night, or I thought I was using it as an excuse to sleep better at night, or even I thought that I was sleeping better at night, but I probably wasn't. So I've had, all of my working life pretty much, I've had problems with my hands, pins and needles in my hands and my arms and my legs, uh, and I struggle to sleep at night, and I've had a bad back since I was 13 years old. So sleeping has always been an issue. So I used to drink loads of beer every night so that I could literally just pass out and go to sleep. So I thought that worked, but it's only been since giving up smoking and drinking that I've realized, no, I mean, it's better now. I mean, I, I still have the aches and pains. Uh, I still have a bad back, but I am going to sleep at like 11 o'clock at night and I'm sleeping all the way through. And very rarely do I wake up with them pains. And I hardly even move in the night. I get myself comfortable and I'm asleep. So health-wise, not drinking, not smoking, way better for you. Mm -hmm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them we were free That should keep them happy for a few days at least. Right, so going back to January when I decided to stop drinking. I don't know why I'm still holding that, don't need it anymore. Uh, looking forward to the summer was one of my main concerns because I've always loved going to the pub especially a beer garden. I'm a sucker for a beer garden in the summer, a daytime session drinker in the summer. I just loved it. So the thought of going to a pub and not having a beer was a bit concerning, but I had pretty much six months to get used to it. And by the time the summer arrived, it wasn't an issue. In fact, there are so many manufacturers that now make non-alcoholic uh, lagers and ciders that there's plenty of choice or you can have soft drinks. So it wasn't an issue. Doing this probably, I don't know, a few years ago when non-alcoholic drinks uh, for non-drinkers in pubs wasn't really a big thing 
might have been different, but it wasn't a problem. It's September, I've got through it. So that's another one ticked off of this. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. So, have I ever had or been tempted to have an alcoholic drink since I gave up in January? And the answer is yes. So going back, and I mentioned this in my other videos, back in April, I'd had a really bad week at work and I came home, things weren't much better at home. So I took myself up the shop and I bought myself four cans of Stella, which I regretted straight away. But nonetheless, I opened them. I drank the first one and I drank a little bit of the second one. Then I threw it away and realized it wasn't good. And then the other two have stayed in my fridge ever since. And I'll prove it to you. So have a look in here. So just there is the two Stellas that I bought back in April and they're still in the fridge along with someone's cider which isn't mine so yes i have been tempted i have had a little hiccup that was in april never again since i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend Now anyone who smokes or has smoked will tell you in the process of trying to give up there's a couple of key cigarettes that make it very very difficult they're make or break cigarettes the first one is the first cigarette in the morning when you get up very difficult cigarette is the most wanted one the second most wanted one is probably the one after you've eaten food now if you can bypass them mentally then you'll be well on your way of giving up smoking I quite surprised myself because I found it way easier than I thought it was going to be. Much easier. In fact, my only regret is that I've not tried to do it sooner. Now, I'm not going to be a reformed smoker, an anti-smoker. I've never really liked the smell of cigarette smoke anyway. Roll-ups, tobacco, not too bad. I can still tolerate that now, just. Tailor-made cigarettes, no chance. I've never really smoked indoors. Uh, even when the smoking ban came in 2007, I was in the non-smoking area of pubs anyway, with children, so it never really was an issue. But the smelling of the smoke now, especially like I said, tailor-made cigarettes, don't like it, really don't like it. But I'm not going to be that anti-reformed smoker because there are times when I can smell roll-ups and I quite like the smell of it. I am no way in this world suggesting that I might start smoking again. Like I said, my only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. Now what I've got to do is do the same with this. You know, take that same thought process, get rid of the vape, which makes it rather difficult because I used this as filling a void when I gave up smoking roll-ups. If I give up this, what's going to fill that void? It's going to make it difficult. Better get the kids from school because I'm running out of time. I'm going to try not to smoke this. There you go just like that nine months have flown by do i feel like i've done the right thing of course i have anything that's been proven medically to be bad for you like smoking tobacco and drinking alcohol giving them both up can only be a good thing so winning why did i do it well i've smoked tobacco and drank alcohol for many years like 30 years i'm 47 years old now i think the time was right to give it up mainly for my own like health reasons and mental well-being and for the sake of my children because both my parents were smokers and heavy drinkers they're not here anymore for me to talk to so i don't want to be doing it anymore so i'm not doing it anymore has it been easy no has there been hiccups once will there be more don't think so because i am dedicated and determined and i feel way much better for it mentally i don't think i was in the right place at the right time to do it but I have done it. I don't think there's ever a right time. So I made a decision and just run with it. And here I am. I've done it pretty much on my own with 
zero support really from anyone else. So yeah, I will pat myself on the back for that and I shall drink my Yorkshire tea. So thanks for watching. Here's to nine months and another nine months and another nine months and just keep going and going and going. So yeah, I shall see you in the next update. But I'll probably see you before that because obviously you have to carry on with the channel and doing birds and related stuff and not just talking about smoking tobacco and drinking alcohol. I actually said it the right way around that time. Not smoking alcohol and drinking tobacco. Yes, winning. I'll leave that bit here.